All right, changing gears, getting your hands into mud can be therapeutic. For students at Northridge High School in Layton, students are getting dirty, and what they're doing in the mud is getting some national attention. ABC4's Northern Utah correspondent Cade Gardner is in Layton with that story. Students happily get their hands dirty in their ceramics class. I moved on to the figure because that's what I'm really passionate about. I'm like really passionate about the human body. Cam Miller is a senior. She hopes to use the sculpting skills she's learned to become a 3D animator. I used to do stop motion when I was little, but I think I'm gonna pursue more just digital like animation. Their teacher, Kyle Giemann, says that's not a far-fetched dream. Not every kid is a math kid or a STEM kid. You know, this is the opportunity for the kids to be creative, to express themselves, to dive in, to uh, learn a little bit more about who they are. Finding who they are has led to many students pursuing future careers in the arts. Last year, students from the program racked up nearly $300,000 in scholarship because of the good work that they do. And this year, it's probably not going to be any different. That's really why I'm out here, is seeing the continued success of Kyle's students. Maria Bentley with Alfred University says over the last few years, they've awarded five Northridge students with scholarships of $130,000. The arts are so important. Um, these are our content creators. These are our culture makers. These are our community facilitators. Um, without artists, we lose our pulse. We lose our culture. Um, and it's so important to really teach students how to find their voice at such a young age. I'm very proud of, you know, their accomplishments and who they've become and what they're actually able to accomplish and, and create in the future. And even if they don't pursue a career in the arts, getting their hands muddy is still a lot of fun. In Layton, Cade Garner, ABC4 News. Some impressive pottery there. Thanks, Cade.